Jackson State is just different, y'all. It's different. It was already different before Coach Prime showed up. But then when you when you when you marry the vibe, the 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 uh, tradition, the culture, the enthusiasm that was already there with uh, the celebrity, the presence, uh, the online presence uh, of Coach Prime, bro, uh, the football cachet. That's a match made in heaven, man. And the numbers back that up. Based on figures, uh, I don't know if these are exclusively released by them or they just shared them, but shout out to the 1400 Club. I know my brother PT, that is Reed, is a member of that. Shout out to y'all putting out dope shit. They're a good follow. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, based on numbers, that they uh, released or at least tweeted out. Jackson State's average attendance in 2021 was higher than the average attendance for FBS schools. FBS. B, as in boy, as in billions, okay? Their average attendance, based on these numbers, was 42,293. The average for the FBS was 39,848. So they are beating, on average, FBS schools. And you don't even want to talk about the FCS. Again, for Jackson State, that number is 42,293. The average FCS attendance, based on these figures, in 2021 was 6,907. Jackson State is different. Different. Jackson State had a higher average attendance than the following FBS schools. Let's see if y'all heard of a few of them. Rutgers, okay, you might not think about their football team. TCU, that's the alma mater of LaDainian Tomlinson. Maryland, Arizona, Georgia Tech. I'm going to come back to that. Cal, Cal, alma mater of Marshawn Lynch. Alma mater of Aaron Rodgers. Cincinnati. They win the college football playoff. Hmm. Stanford. Alma mater of John Elway. Illinois. Boston College. Syracuse. Northwestern. Oregon State. Wake Forest. Kansas. Washington State, Vanderbilt, Duke. These are power five schools. I, these power five schools I'm telling y'all about. And Jack State had a higher average attendance than these schools. Jack State is different. To my young people out there, you're getting recruited. You're on your way up. Man. Y'all, y'all, hopefully now, y'all see. But you, you shouldn't look down on black institutions like that when you're thinking about who you want to play for. I, I'm hoping you didn't feel that way before Prime got there. But sure enough now, you, 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 just, you just can't do Look at this. It's getting to the point now where I want to say, if you're not going to one of these blue bloods where like you go there and you can just know you, okay, I'm I'm gonna get drafted. Or the NIL bag finna be just stupid crazy or something like that. So that well, who who is that? That's Alabama. You got Ohio State, uh Oklahoma, I guess, USC. 
Notre Dame, like these blue blood program where they going they going to fit anywhere between 70, 80 to 100,000 people up in that thing and it's going to be crazy. But all them power five schools ain't hitting like that. They just get coming into y'all homes and saying y'all gonna play power five football. They just got the little tag, this power five. Power, that little that little shit has really done something. That that so many motherfuckers ain't like that. If you playing in some of these institutions, you might as well be goddamn it going to HBCU. Just be one hundred. Some of these places ain't got no goddamn culture for no football. Duke is a basketball school. You're going to say, well, I'll play the ACC football. Man, no one about to give a fuck about you. They can't about the, the, the basketball team. Syracuse is like that. Maryland is like that. Arizona is a, is a basketball school, man. Some of these schools, brother, yeah, they power five. But it's, it's not like that in terms of Rutgers. Come on, man. Ain't nobody checking for no Rutgers football. Folks ain't. But they, they coming to y'all with this power five. Oh, I got a power five offer. Man, fuck that. These folks ain't showing up in these games like that. Now compared to Jack State. Now, can't speak for the other FCS school. Okay? Because as it says here, Jack State dwarfs the FCS. Like, it, it's, it's not comparable. But when it comes to it, now, and again, don't put all this on just prime because some of these motherfuckers going to be trying to tell y'all where he going to be leaving and woo woo. Jackson State been a vibe before prime was there. It's just a match made in heaven right now, which leads me back to Georgia Tech. I saw a brother who I just told y'all about. Dope brother gave me some good info, Coach Reed. Uh, I guess he twenty four seven sports. I'm assuming I don't know, but saw it on Twitter. And him and some colleagues, I guess, were talking about Prime going to Florida State possibly or moving to the ACC. And now he starts off his comments by basically laying out why Coach Prime might just stay at Jack State, being a family man, got your kids playing at Jack State. Woo woo. But then he does offer up that if if prime goes to the acc it would be great for him to not go to florida state but he should go to georgia tech because it's in atlanta and uh atlanta loves prime you know because he played for the falcons and because uh he played for the atlanta braves he didn't say that at least in the clip that it's a black dominated city but that's part of it they would they would love prime and having all those Black celebrities there and all that kind of shit. But you see, Jackson State has been outperforming them. Okay? Jackson State been doing 37,515. Jackson State been in that ballpark pre-prime up in that stadium. I've been in that stadium pre-prime with 60 of them things up in there. I've been in there like that, pre-prime. Beautiful, beautiful experience with Prime. Come on, man. So, yeah, they probably would love him. They probably would love him in Atlanta with Georgia Tech. But, God damn it, we love him in Jackson with Jackson State University. So what our challenge is, real ones, Keep this momentum going throughout the Jackson metro area, goddammit. And why let's make Jackson Atlanta. Why not? Why can't it be? Why can't it be? Hmm? You might say, well, shoot, Atlanta has uh in Georgia as a whole, it's different. Uh it, it's become a blue state. You got uh Democratic senator, you got, uh, you got Sister Abrams that almost won the governorship. You know what I'm talking about? Mississippi can never do this stuff. Atlanta wasn't like that when Prime played there. It wasn't. What Atlanta is now? Yeah, you had your elements up. You had the the culture, but Atlanta was wasn't this 
the A town like we think of it today. It had to grow and grow and grow, and then when it became so hot, a lot of it attracts people. Tyler Perry Studios wasn't there in the early nineties and stuff like that. Why can't we build our own shit? We can do this. We can do this, Mississippi, bro. We pound for pound, pound for pound. And this is no slight to any of my real ones nowhere. I love all y'all from Nigeria to South Africa to New York to Detroit to Cali to Houston to Memphis, Louisiana, Alabama. All, all y'all, wherever you are, I love you. Real talk, Canada. But my little state, pound for pound, man, might be the most influential state in terms of culture. That is. And that's good or bad. Because when it comes to this racist bullshit, go look up the Mississippi plan. Like our state has the greatest percentage, the highest percentage of black people. So when you got so many of us here, uh, shit, white supremacists in this state had to be goddamn on some more shit to try to keep us under control here. So you had, for the bad, Mississippi was influential in terms of how to uh, mistreat black people. But in terms of the good, there's so much dope shit that came from that struggle. The blues, gospel, y'all, and y'all know those two things are the roots of all these other different genres of music. That's from here. So why can't, why would Prime have to leave us and go to Georgia Tech or any goddamn way else to get the vibe of the, or to be in a place that's going to embrace him? Jackson can be Atlanta. It can. We can make it that way. We have to make it that way by industrializing, bringing those jobs. You know what I'm saying? I know one of the dope-ass things Atlanta got about it is, is like CNN headquarters and shit like that. And, uh, all the other job opportunities. Shit. Instead of us leaving this motherfucker to go go work for somebody else, we can stay here and create jobs of our own. You know what I'm saying? And that'll help deal with the crime, the Jackson crime crisis that motherfuckers are always talking about. They've been talking about this shit since I was a child. Poverty is the problem. But we can fix that, bro. Jackson State is different. It's showing you that. We got to get behind the same way we vibe and show up for the football team. We have to get behind these other issues, have to get behind real shit in the city and in the metro area and collectively in the state as a whole. God damn it. Valley doing well, that helps Jackson State. If Alcorn doing well, that helps Jackson State. Tougaloo doing well, that helps Jackson State. Russ doing well, that helps Jackson State. You know what I'm talking about? Again, if you, if you black, you got to be thinking black. I keep saying that. Oh. Uh, we collectively, bro, we can do this. Jackson can be that. that and what's Atlanta being called, though? Black Hollywood? Why can't we? We can do this. Prime ain't got to go no motherfucking well. You already see. Well, I, ooh, I, I wish I could see these figures with the budgets. with comp like, like you can see the budgets compared. And you, and you see what the folks are doing. It's showing up. Showing up. That's with all the struggle, with all the pain, all the going through whatever, folks are showing up to su support. And they traveling too. Don't get that shit twisted. Folks travel my whole life. That's one of the things about that Southern Heritage class. My whole life that's been an event motherfuckers going. I know my sisters go all my whole life. People travel and shit like that. Now we got this orange blossom thing. Folks going, turning up for that. Uh, folks are excited about some of the new joints doing. It's celebration Bowl. Folks were excited to go to that. Don't get shit twisted. Motherfuckers traveling too. They are supported. We need that same passion and involvement in all endeavors. Because we can make this area just like at the Atlanta metro area. So Coach Prime, stay here. Help us do that. 
You ain't gotta go no motherfucking well. You can stay right here, and the numbers show it. You can stay right here and get the support you're looking for. Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.